In this video, I'm going to show you this really awesome body flash effect that you can apply to your footage right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get right into it. So once you've got your footage inside of Adobe After Effects, we can begin editing this effect. So selecting on your footage, we want to go ahead and select the Roto Brush. Now the reason why we're going into the Roto Brush is because we want to cut out the person from the video. So we want the person to be an entirely separate layer to the background. So select the Roto Brush and double select the video footage. And then inside of the Roto Brush, we want to go ahead and we want to draw over ourself. You want to make sure that there is a pink outline surrounding yourself. But if this overlaps any other part of the video, then hold option on your keyboard. This should turn the brush red and paint over any part that shouldn't be rotoscoped. Now, once you've got that first frame perfect, you can go ahead and press space on your keyboard and the computer will generate the roto for you. Now, the computer will generally do a decent job of this, but there will be times where the roto will not quite work. The border will change, it'll lose part of the body, especially if there's motion blur. As you can see on my example, because I'm doing a side flip, my feet and my arms are extra blurry. This means the computer is missing that. It's not drawing a pink border around those parts of my body. So it's up to you to go over to these parts and just paint over them and make sure they're within the mask. So go through this process and make sure you've rotoscoped yourself completely. And then as soon as you've done this, you can come out of the roto brush. You can press the cursor tool, come back over composition one, and if we just hide the background layer and we have a look at the rotoed layer, you can see that we've just got myself doing a side flip with no background. And that's great. Now, I only want to do this effect when I'm fully in the air. I don't care for the last part of the footage. So I'm just going to delete the second half of the video. And now once you're happy with that rotoed layer, you're happy with the roto, there's no overlay. And you've cut your video down to a section that you want to apply this effect to. Then we can go up into effects and presets search for fill and we'll drag fill on top of that rotoed layer. Now immediately that rotoed layer should go red and now we'll go ahead and we'll turn the background layer on and then we'll scrub ahead in time, maybe one second in time to a point where we want to start this effect. And when you do want to start this effect, you want to create a brand new keyframe by pressing the stopwatch icon next to color. Scroll across to the next keyframe and then we'll go ahead and change the color of that mask. So we'll change this to blue. So that's gonna go from red to blue. So we'll scroll across to the third keyframe. We'll change this to a light blue. We'll go ahead one more keyframe and we'll change this to green. Now that should change frame by frame to a different color. And I want this effect to be on and off. I don't want this to be all the time. I want this to be on and off. So after those four colors, I'm gonna cut this video and remove a section. So I'm gonna press Command Shift D on my keyboard to delete that. And I'm gonna drag the second half of the video over to the right to add a gap. Now, once you're happy with that gap, you can go ahead and do the same process on the second footage. So we'll create a brand new keyframe, go over to the second part, change the color, go over to the third frame, change the color, fourth frame, color, and so forth. Now keep doing this process over and over again. Keep switching colors, keep cropping the video and make this effect look really awesome and really interesting. And now when we play this back, you can see that we have completed this effect and that is how you can use the Roto brush inside of Adobe After Effects to create this really awesome color flicker effect. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking that circle button and check out the previous video by clicking on this rectangle just over here. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video.